but not my hair. It's like my, it's like giving like it's my hair, but it's not actually my hair, but it's very cute. I like that. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jasmine Dustin. If you are new here, if you're returning, hey girl, hey, what's up? What's good? What's goody? Okay, period. We back with a new video. I just finished blowing my hair out, and I actually want to transform this bob into some inches. Um, I'm the bob is cute, but I need some inches. I want. I want to be giving what the girls have been giving lately, which is the very natural like natural hair natural length but it's longer everybody's been doing tape-ins they've been doing micro links if you guys don't necessarily have the budget for micro links or tape-ins which can be very expensive and they're kind of high maintenance i definitely would suggest doing something like clip-ins so i'm going to be installing some gorgeous clip-ins today from curls queen I've actually worn their hair before and I'm a very big fan of it. Their hair is really nice, really soft, really luxurious, but super affordable. So today's video is actually sponsored by Curl Screen. Shout out to Curl Screen for sponsoring today's video. So if you guys want to see me essentially go from a short hair baddie to a long hair baddie, then make sure you guys keep watching, okay? So as you guys know, I already blew my hair out and I used my blow dry brush from Bedhead. I absolutely love this tool. It makes blowing my hair out so much easier. It cuts down on the time like you have no idea. Literally, this is a godsend. Love this, highly recommend it. It will be linked down below in my Amazon storefront for you guys. Definitely go get you one if you like to normally give yourself blowouts and you've been doing another method. This literally just cuts the time down like in half. Not even in half, like way more than half. Like I used to spend like an hour on each side of my head, splitting my hair down the middle, blowing out one side and then blowing out the other. And literally this, I can blow out one side of my head in 20 minutes, like 15, 20 minutes. It gets it done and then I move on to the other side. So that's like 40 minutes from my whole head. It's so fast, it's so quick. And it's just so easy to use. Like I feel like everyone could use this, so. Definitely recommend this. But in order to make my hair better blend with these clip-ins, my hair is very thick, as you guys can see. It's very full, um, and I didn't straighten my hair when I added the clip-ins, so I feel like this time around, if I straighten my hair using my Baby Bliss Pro flat iron, along with using more clip-in pieces, I'll definitely have a more seamless look. So that's essentially what I'm just trying to achieve today. We gonna get it right because I'm up for a challenge. Like, it's okay if I didn't get it right the first time, I'm gonna get it right this time. So your clip-ins are gonna come in this gorgeous little silk baggie. That way you can store them when you're not wearing them, which I really like. This time around, last time I only used one set, but I was like, you know what? I feel like two would be better. I feel like two would make it really, really blend and look super full so that it matches my hair. The clip-ins themselves are very full, but I have very thick hair. So I feel like I need to use two packs. And the hair smells so good. It smells like they literally deep conditioned it right before they sent it over. It smells so good. There's no weird smell. It's really soft. And yeah, I'm already familiar with this hair. Ugh, look at how full. Like, yeah. It's going to be giving hair.
so I just finished flat ironing my hair and it's giving a bull. You name B O B, so they call you Ba 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 Ba. It's giving very much that. Um, now we want to put these clip ends in, but before I do that, I'm gonna just put a little bit of this Bio Silk Light into my hair. We're just gonna put it in here. Oh, my hair is so straight. I really got it super flat. Wow. And just in case anyone's wondering, this is the Baby Bliss Titanium Flat Iron, and I have it on 390. So that's the second highest. The highest it goes is 450. I don't want to like, I don't feel like I need max heat. 390 is good for my hair. And each, um, set of clip-ins comes with 10 clip-ins I'm gonna section I'm actually gonna just put up all of my hair right now and I'm gonna take a three I'm gonna open up the clips and this one I'm gonna place upside down literally going upward but it's still gonna fall this way but it's just so that it covers my shortest um, layer which is right at the nape of my neck like my hair is obviously in a very blunt bob so in order to disguise that i'm gonna put one upside down along the back right at the bottom so the hair that falls on top of it will be hidden behind this first clip i actually want to do a two i lied i don't want to do a three i want to do a two at the bottom put it upside down like so Okay, so it looks a little weird, but that's how it's gonna look. Okay, and that's gonna cover that first um, piece along that clip right here. I'm gonna take a three piece clip. So we got a little piece that's sticking out right here, but I'm gonna be able to cover that, don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna take a four piece. Yeah, I'm gonna take a four piece clip in.
I'm using my Kiss Edge Booster in Grape just to lay my baby hairs because this doesn't revert my hair back to being curly. So I just have to use a small amount of this because too much and it can look a little like white. Okay, so my final thoughts on these clip-ins. I actually love them. I think they're very, very cute. I love them the first time around. I just didn't have enough clip-in pieces because my hair is really thick. But this time around, using two sets of the clip-ins was definitely needed. I ended up only having one clip left, and this is a four-piece weft. And I honestly probably could have fit this, but I just didn't know where to place it. And I think I'm getting better with my placement because I was able to hide my short, short layered hair for the most part. Um, in the front, you can still kind of see those pieces, but it's okay. I feel like for the most part, it's blended very well. Like I'm really not mad at it at all. I think it looks really cute. I'm actually so freaking pleased. I didn't cut them at all last time. I layered the clip-ins just because I wanted them to kind of like give like a layered look. But I like the long, sleek. And as my hair grows out and I continue to use these clip-ins, I feel like they'll just blend better and better, obviously. I'm not going to be cutting my hair anymore. Like, I'm going to be giving myself my trims like once or twice a month. Um, once or every two months that I normally do, but I won't be cutting my hair. Like typically I cut my hair probably like every six months I'll cut it, but I'm actually trying to grow my hair out so I can give you guys more natural hair content on my channel because I do want to be able to do that. Like, so if there's any specific videos that you guys want to see from me, make sure you comment that down below in the comment section. I can't wait to take pictures, honestly. It's giving, <laughs> period. I love it. This might be my little go-to when I don't feel like wearing a wig and I want my scalp to breathe. I think I'm gonna just pull these clip-ins out and just do a bunch of styles. I like that it's like natural hair. It's like my hair, but not my hair. It's like my, it's like giving like it's my hair, but it's not actually my hair, but it's very cute. I like that. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video don't forget you are smart you are beautiful people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you on my next upload bye